I think we can win back the state in four years. I believe that. And I want to talk about five things that I believe we can do in sequence to do that. We as Democrats have got to understand that first we've got to be brutally honest with ourselves, look ourselves in the mirror and say, hi, I'm a Democrat and we keep losing. We lost all nine races. A Republican friend of mine, Republican campaign consultant, said something to me about eight years ago that has branded in my brain and I want to brand it in your brain. And he said, South Carolina is a 55-45 default Republican state unless the Democrats change the game. When we got through this year, this election, as hard as our folks worked, as good a candidates as they were, as many phone calls as we made, 56.4, 41.1. That's where it was. So number one, we've got to be brutally honest with ourselves. Number two, we've got to not blame anybody. It's not about blaming anybody. It's about thanking everybody. We, we can't win with only what we have, but we, we can't do anything unless we start with what we got. And it's not about blaming this group or that group. It's not about blaming candidates or upstate versus low state. We're all Democrats. We all lost. We're all responsible. And if we're going to win, we've got to all win back together. The third thing we've got to do, we've got to ruthlessly reinvent the Democratic Party from the gra grassroots up. Ruthlessly reinvent it. And we've got to reinvent the party with new people, new ideas, and new technology. New, new people, just as a start, just as a start. There were 244,000 African-American voters who voted for Obama in the general election last election that did not vote in November. 244,000. Those are new people. If, if one out of four, just one out of four of that group had come out and voted, that woman's husband, uh, son would be governor of the state of South Carolina. One out of four. That's all we needed. If you look at, if you look at where we are winning, we have got to reinvent the party by listening to the people who are winning for Democrats. And where are we winning? mayors, county council, local elections. We've got good Democratic mayors, good mayors, in Beaufort, Charleston, Georgetown, Sumter, Florence, Columbia, Orangeburg, Anderson, Sumter, Rock Hill. That's where we're winning. <laughs> On, on the local level, the local offices, and we've got to rebuild this party from the ground up. But we also have got to use new technology. I, I run a technology company, so I know a little something about this. And if you look at what Barack Obama did in 2008 with technology, it shows you the power of investing in technology of investing in online tools, investing in email, investing in, on, in, in the new media. The fourth thing we gotta do is we gotta hold Haley and the Republicans accountable. We gotta hold them accountable. The next time you hear Haley say, we're gonna take back our state, you say, wait, <laughs> stop, time out. You're it, you're the governor. You got all eight constitutional offices. You got the House. You got the Senate. You got all 26 committee chairmen. You got all of the budget and control board. You are in charge. You say we got to have more transparency in government. Fine, pass it. You say we've got to have <coughs> tougher ethics. Great, pass it. And we've got to be ruthless about it. Because I'll tell you frankly, the Republicans are meaner than we are. They are. They're meaner than we are. 
and you're all shaking your head because you know I'm right. You know, we show up at a, at, 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 a, at a fight in the alley, we bring our knives and they bring a gun. They bring an Uzi. Well, we got to show up with a tank. We got to show up with a tank. Fifth thing is we've got to be a party of big, bold ideas that mean something in people's lives. When they go to vote for us, they've got to know if I vote for a Democrat, this is what I'm getting, and this is why it's good for, for me and my family. The single best example was the last guy we elected as a Democrat, was Jim Hodges. To this day, you all know exactly what I'm talking about. You vote for Hodges, you get a lottery, help send your kid to college, right? That was it. That was it. it we as Democrats, be it Dick Riley when he, we passed the EIA, people knew what they were getting. They knew what they were voting for. And we delivered. And we delivered. And if you look at the history of the Democratic Party in this country, that's what people expect of us. We are at our best when we are at our boldest. Harry Truman, desegregating the army with civil rights. John Kennedy says we're going to take a man to the moon and bring him back by the end of the decade. LBJ in the Civil Rights Act. Jimmy Carter says that human rights is a fundamental part of what we are as America. On and on and on. And what we've got to do in this state is articulate just two, three big reasons why if you vote for us, this is what you're going to get. I think we can win back the state in four years. I believe that. I believe that with every fiber of my body.